Hi, my name is Felicia Bonanno, and today I will be leading you through a yoga flow to help strengthen your core and glutes. This session is presented by Yogi. This practice is inspired by Yogi Honey Chai Turmeric Vitality Tea. It will leave you feeling energized and revitalized, ready to take on any challenges that may come your way today. Allow yourself to come to a comfortable seat. You can place your hands on your knees with the palms facing up so that you're open to receiving energy. And gently close your eyes. Allow yourself to fill up with your breath completely. Hold it for a moment at the top and then exhale, release. Setting an intention for today's practice. Allowing yourself to be filled with energy, to feel refreshed and invigorated after this practice. And you can add on whatever else you would for your intention, keeping it in mind throughout the practice. And take another deep breath in, filling up completely. And then exhale, release, let it go. <sighs> Inhale your arms up to the sky with your gaze. And then exhale, you're gonna cactus your arms, open up your heart, push your chest forward. Inhale your arms up to the sky with your gaze. And then cactus your arms. Inhale, and exhale. Bringing your hands onto your mat, you're gonna bring your right leg underneath your left. Inhaling both hands up to the sky, taking your left hand behind you, bending your right arm, and you're gonna twist, you're gonna hook that arm so you can twist gazing over your left shoulder. Remembering to breathe, filling up, and then letting go as you exhale. Inhale your arms up to the sky. You're gonna switch your legs, taking your left leg underneath your right. Inhale the arms up, take your right hand behind you, bending your, your left arm, hooking it on that leg, and then twisting, gazing over the right shoulder. Inhale, and then exhale. You can unwind those legs. Allow yourself to come to a tabletop position for some cat cow. As you inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, bring your gaze up to the sky. Exhale, curl and round your spine. Inhale. And exhale, moving your body with the breath. Allowing your spine to be fluid. Taking a few more breaths right here. And then come to a neutral tabletop position. From here, you're gonna extend your right hand out in front of you, releasing your left leg back, creating a nice straight line with your body. Then you're gonna connect, rounding your spine, your knee and your elbow. Inhale, open up and extend. Exhale, connect. Inhale, open up and extend. Exhale, connect. And release the hands down to the mat. Bring your left hand out, your right leg extends, creating that straight line with your body. And then connect your knee to your elbow. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and then release back to the mat. Grounding down through your hands, 
You're gonna come onto your feet, coming into your downward facing dog. Pedal out your dog, bending your knees, lifting your heels up and down off of the mat. You can also twist your hips side to side. Inhale, reach your heels up as high as possible. Exhale, release them down to the mat. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale. Gaze at the top of your mat. You're gonna hop your feet to meet your hands. Inhale, half lift with a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. You can bend your knees softly here if you need to. Inhale, slowly rise up. You can cactus your arms, open up your chest, inviting energy. And then exhale, fold forward, hinging at your hips. Inhale, half lift, plant your hands, walk or hop your feet to the back of your mat. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips rise for downward facing dog. You can pedal out your downward dog again here, just keeping your body warm, circulating the blood. And gaze at your hands, bend your knees, hop or walk your feet to meet your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, slowly rise all the way up, cactusing your arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Plant your hands, walk or hop your feet to the back of your mat. Lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips rise. Take a moment to breathe here, filling up all the way, and then exhaling, releasing. And gaze at the front top of your mat. Walk or hop your feet to meet your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. You're gonna plant down your left hand on your mat and then you're gonna reach and extend your right hand up to the sky for a twist, gazing at your top fingertips. You can have a gentle bend in the knees here. Exhale, release that hand down to the mat. Opposite hand down, grounding down through your right hand. Reach and extend your left up to the sky with your gaze. And then exhale, release. Inhale, half lift. Plant your hands, walk or hop your feet to the back of your mat, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips rise for downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky. Bring your knee to your nose, plant that foot in between your hands, pivot your back heel down and rise up for warrior one taking a deep bend in that front knee. Grounding down through both feet, engaging your core, and then plant your hands on your mat. Release that foot back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips rise for downward facing dog. Left leg rises up to the sky. Bring your knee to your nose, plant that foot in between your hands, pivot the back heel down, rise up for warrior one. Sitting deeply in your warrior pose, feeling fierce and strong, and then release your hands down to your mat. Bring that foot back, lower down, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips rise for downward facing dog. Gaze at the top of your mat. Walk or hop your feet to meet your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, you're gonna sit into your chair pose, extending your arms up to the sky. Now you're gonna swing your arms behind you. 
coming on to the tippy toes. Release the heels down and extend your arms up to the sky. Swing the arms back, coming onto your toes. Inhale. Just a few more, just like that. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, you're doing great. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Plant your hands on your mat. Walk or hop your feet to the back. Lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips rise for downward facing dog. You're gonna pull yourself forward, coming into your plank pose. You may have to walk your feet back a little bit. Stay here, breathing, engaging your core, allowing your body to be a straight line. You don't want you know, your bottom to be poking up or you don't wanna be sinking into yourself. Push the mat away from you. Allow your body to be firm and strong. From here, you're gonna bring yourself over to your left side for side plank. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky with your gaze, bending your knee, coming into your tree pose, side plank. Option here to reach and extend your leg up to the sky as well. Breathe here and then come back into your plank pose, releasing the hand onto your mat. Lower down, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips rise for downward facing dog. Reach and extend the right leg up to the sky. Bring your knee to your nose, curling your body for tiger curl. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring your knee to your right elbow. Inhale. Knee to left elbow with a little twist. Inhale. Bring your knee to your nose, plant your foot in between your hands. Stay on the balls of the back feet. Rise up for your crescent lunge. You can cactus your arms poking out your chest. Inhale your arms up to the sky. And swing your arms back, hovering over that front leg. Inhale. Come onto the heel of your back foot. Coming into your warrior two pose, gazing over your front fingertips. Take a moment to breathe here. Come back into your crescent lunge. Bring your hands to heart center. You're gonna ground down through that front foot, coming into your warrior three pose, balancing on the front leg. Slowly bend that knee, come up to standing, still balancing, wrapping your left leg around the right, taking your left hand, wrapping it under and around the right for eagle pose. With control, slowly release. And see if you can release that leg back onto your mat, planting your hands down, bringing your right foot back, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips rise for downward facing dog. You're gonna pull yourself forward for your plank pose. Stay here for a few moments. You may have to walk your feet back a little bit pushing the mat away from you. Engaging your core, staying nice and strong and firm. And then we're gonna pivot onto our right side for a side plank. Reaching and extending 
our left hand up to the sky with our gaze. Option here, you could do like a little tree leg or you can extend the leg up to the sky. Whatever feels good for you in the moment. And then release back to the mat. Lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips rise for downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your left leg up to the sky. Bring your knee to your nose. Inhale, reach and extend. Knee to right elbow. Inhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, knee to nose. Plant that foot in between your hands. Stay on the balls of the back feet and rise up for your crescent lunge. And then cactus your arms, opening up your chest, opening up your heart. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Pivot the back heel down onto your mat. Come into your warrior two pose. Gazing over the front fingertips. Come back into your lunge. Bringing your hands to heart center, you're gonna ground down through that front foot and come into your warrior three. With control, you can bend your knee, come to standing. Wrap your right leg around the left Wrapping your right hand under and around the left hand for eagle pose. Challenging your balance. If you fall out, get right back in. And then release, still keeping that foot off of the mat. And then bring it back, planting your hands down. Release that foot back, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, hips rise for downward facing dog. A gaze at the top of your mat. You're going to walk or hop your feet to meet your hands on the inside and come to a seat. From here, we're gonna do boat pose. Extend your arms in front of you and then bring your legs to meet your arms, coming into your boat pose. Sitting nice and tall, allowing your chest to pull through. Taking five breaths here. Five, four, three, two, one. Release to the mat. You can give yourself just a little bit of a lift. Release down and inhale. Come back up into your boat pose for five, four, three, two, one, release your feet back down to the mat, lift up. One more time, release your hips down and then come into your boat pose for five, four, three, two, one. Release your legs onto the mat, extend your legs forward, bringing your hands out in front of you. Lower back onto your mat, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach your legs up to the sky, flex your feet, bring your hands to the back of your head and we're gonna do some toe taps. We'll do five, inhale, and exhale, release. Two, three, four, and five. Releasing your hands down in front of you. You can point your toes, lower your legs down 25%. Lower them down 50%. 75. And then all the way down. Take 
take a deep breath in, exhale, release, and then raise your legs 25%, 50%, 40%, 75 and 100 and then slowly release your legs down to the mat bend your knees plant your feet on your mat and from here you're gonna plant your hands on your mat inhale lift your hips up high for bridge pose you can shimmy your shoulders underneath yourself lower down Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release down. And inhale. Release down, option here to continue with your bridge or to do a full wheel. So you're gonna plant your feet down, bring your hands alongside your head, put your fingertips pointing away from you. And you're gonna inhale, lift your hips up, releasing your head up off of your mat, coming into your bridge pose. And then slowly lower down. Bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. You can rock side to side. Release your left leg onto the mat, pulling your right knee into your chest and go in circles in one direction and then in the opposite direction. And you're gonna pull your right knee over to the left side, extending your left hand. Extending your hands out, gazing over your right shoulder. And then come back through center. Release that leg back onto your mat. Pull your left knee into your chest. Go in circles in one direction. And then go in the opposite direction. Pull that knee over to the right side, gazing over the left shoulder. Come back through center. Release that leg down onto the mat. Pull both knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Grab your feet from the outside coming into your happy baby. You can sway side to side. Extending the right leg, pulling it back in. Extend the left leg, pull it back in. And then bring both feet together with the knees. Release your legs onto your mat. Allow them to come as wide as the mat, bringing your palms facing up, coming into your final resting pose, Savasana. You can close your eyes here, allowing gravity to take hold of you, connecting to your mat. Take a moment to allow your breath to come back to its neutral pace. Taking in gentle sips of air and then releasing, letting go. And then you're gonna bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug, rock and roll. Come up to a comfortable seat. Bringing your hands to heart center. Bow down in gratitude to yourself for this practice, for this moment that we all shared with each other. The light and love within me honors and recognizes the light and love within all of you. Namaste. Thank you for committing to this practice. I'm going to enjoy a cup of Yogi Honey Chai Turmeric Vitality Tea so that I can feel revitalized and ready to take on my day. I'll see you next time.